they see the likes of this young Pulisic and how he, what his career, how he left at a young age and went to Europe. I think a lot of parents are seeing that now. If they want their kids to be successful and do well in a, in a, in a good league around the world, then there's no way that they're going to be able to spend four or five years of college before they try and make it because it's just not going to work. So that, that relates to exactly what you said. We get these 16, 17-year-old young American kids in here now, and that's the way forward to get a, to get a World Cup winning US A team, I think. I think you're spot on there. Yeah, 100%. As a coach, you, you, you're dealing 99.99% of the time with kids who are never going to be top-class professionals. And so the approach there is, hey, um, use soccer to get a scholarship at university, to get a degree, to go on and get a job. Right. And enjoy your soccer and use it to make yourself fit and be as good as you can. Have fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. Learn to be part of a team. Uh, learn to take losses and wins. All that good stuff that, that, that soccer teaches you as a, as a kid. I mean, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful teacher of life. Um, you know, soccer and, and most sports, baseball, whatever. Um, but but you, you move on to college. You use your soccer to get a sponsorship, to, to move, a scholarship rather, move on to college and life. There's a very tiny percentage, like Roy say, have to step out of it and go, okay, we're not that person. We're going to join a professional club, be a professional, live and die the game, talk about it day in and day out, and try and be that great soccer player. Mm -hmm. And that's a very small percentage that must come up through the USL and through um, MLS, I keep the name wrong, USL, MLS, all these different names, <laughs> um, MLS, and that's their route to success. Yeah. And it's a very tiny percentage, but they, they get different coaching. They get the coaching that says, hey, that level's not for you. That level's for you. Go outside and do another 300 crosses and get that ball right on that center forward's head because that's what I want from you. It's a lot more brutal, a lot harder, but those players want to go to a much higher level. Yeah.